Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to do backwards selection in regression. So let's get started. In our previous video, we were talking about how to do regression and in particular how to do forward selection in regression. Now, in today's video, we'll be primarily focusing on how to do backward selection here. So if you want to learn more about regression, you can check out my video or if you want to understand more what forward selection is, uh, you can also check this video out before proceeding with our video. Anyway, so if you're trying to understand how to do backward selection here, uh, it's the complete opposite now. Instead of selecting one variable at a time, we're trying to eliminate or remove one variable at a time, see which would yield the better model here. So we'll use the same data set as we did in our previous model, uh, previous video in forward selection. So let's take a closer look. Here we have a sample data set uh, of hotel, same as the data set that we use in our previous video here. So for backward selection, we're going to select all three independent variables first, and then we'll eliminate one variable at a time, see which variables will provide the best predictor here or best model here. So if we were to go to data analysis, select regression. So our dependent variable is still overall. And then for our independent, we're going to select all three together. And make sure to check the box for labels. And then let's display it on the same page. And then let's see what the result is. So we're interested for the R square still. And for the P value. So for our first model, it's all three variables together, amenities and then comfort and then in-house dining so for our r squares it's 0 0.74 75 then our p-value is less than 0 0.05 so it's statistically significant so after our first iteration here the question here is uh, if we were to eliminate one variable here whichever of the three will it yield a lower or a better model here so you can eliminate any of those so let's start by eliminating amenities so you're only left with comfort and in house dining and if you were to eliminate comfort uh, you only have amenities and in-house dining and if you were to eliminate in-house dining you only have amenities and comfort so let's run by it, uh, one of one by one so for the first one going to select comfort and in-house dining here so let's see what the result is so for r square it's 0.20 so it's significantly lower for the p-value it's greater than 0 0.05 so it's not statistically significant here so we'll do this again see what the result is so in this case we have amenities and in-house so uh, in exa is very finicky both of your independent variables has to be side by side otherwise it would not work so i have to cut the column for in-house and paste it beside amenities then we can do the regression still so amenities and in-house dining so for the r square it's much higher and then the p value is less than 0 0.05 so it is statistically significant Next is we have uh, amenities and comfort. So again, I'll do the same cut and paste. So we can put it side by side. Then rerun the regression for amenities and comfort. See what the result could be. So for our R square, it's slightly lower. It's 0.5. For our P value, it's less than 0 0.05. So it is statistically significant here. So if you were to compare here, uh, comfort and in-house dining is out of the picture since it's not statistically significant. So your only two choices are amenities and in-house dining or comfort here. Since the R, uh, R square is higher with in-house and amenities, we're going to select that. So that would be our next iteration here. So we're going to select amenities and in-house dining. So the next question here is, if we were to remove one of those variables, so if it were just amenities, would it be a better model? Or if we were just to uh, eliminate amenities and have only in-house dining, 
will it yield a better model here so let's find out so in this case we're only left with one variable here or independent variable so let's start with amenities see what the result is for amenities it's, it's lower it's less than 0 0.05 so it's statistically significant for in-house dining on the other hand so let's rerun here so let's select in-house dining see what the result is so for in-house dining it's 0.17 and then for our p-value it's greater than 0 0.05 so it's not significant so that is the problem here so so you can see here that in-house dining is not statistically significant so it's out of our consideration here which only left us with amenities here by the way but the question here is is it a better model compared to the amenities and in-house dining here so wait uh, amenities and comfort i did not change the values here so let me rerun here amenities and comfort i lost amenities and comfort all of a sudden anyway ah it's 0 0.502 okay so it's so it didn't matter anyway so going back to our comparisons here so if we were to just uh select amenities it's statistically significant but it's only 0.48 not significantly better than uh 0.79 and if we are to consider 0.750, uh, which is technically higher, but if you were to do some arithmetic like before, uh, comfort here is only 1.1% significantly better. So not, not significantly better, but only improves marginally. So technically, in this case, the best predictor here is only both amenities and in-house dining, which should be your best predictor here for your overall rating here. I think we got the same result in our previous video in forward selection question is will it yield the same result still if we were to uh if we were to use stepwise selection here so i'm looking forward to that one so stay tuned for our next video when we tackle uh, stepwise selection here anyway that concludes our video if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button also, you can leave your comments down below to suggest other topics for future videos. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.